Greetings, dear viewers. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Pathfinder Kingmaker Mega Mod Last Zanti Challenge, where this time, after claiming the outskirts, the area where we, uh, the area around Oleg's trading post, we are in kingdom building mode and we are answering Harim's requests. Let's begin, dear viewership, with the subscribe and the like. Let's begin. Your advisor has arrived to report about the recent uh, loyalty developments in your barony. Okay, sure. Thanks. Harim looks embarrassed. He runs his fingers through his beard and clears his throat a few times. <clears throat> <clears throat> then he speaks at last. Oh, I heard. Oh, I heard. Not that, that is important, but, uh, well. He clears his throat again. <coughs> I heard that an ancient trade road built by the dwarves of the Five Kings Mountains runs through these lands. I don't know what happened to them or where they went. Unforgiving time spares no one, but the road itself is still there, and possibly not only the road. Harim holds his beard in his fist. Well, uh, Sylvia, I have a request. If you find any dwarven ruins in the area, I'd like to see them with my own eyes. Of course, if I find them, I'll take you there. Oh, well, thank you, Sylvia. I, well, um, thank you. Oh, your grace, I was Oleg's trading post recently. I noticed that the old man Balkan was just standing there, bored to death with nothing to do. This is most unfortunate. After all, the old grumbler is a very knowledgeable alchemist. However, he has no use for his skills, since the locals need nothing more than the simplest of healing potions. And then it struck me. Why don't you hire him to be, uh, to be your court alchemist? His decisions and tinctures... Yeah, well, well, his concoctions and tinctures would certainly prove most useful to you. Also, it might be cheaper than simply buying from him or some other merchant. Anyone else? Alright, no one else is lined up. So there. Good. The craft slaves are done. Alright, let's manage some more ki kingdom affairs. After I find out what this is. Yes. Oh, thank you. That's all. I was just trying to access the ch this chest. Ah, this is my stash. How wonderful. Let's check on this crafting situation. Then, ah, it is time. It is time to undergo this lichdom ritual. I shall become a lich and become a goddess. It is time. It is time. It is time. But first, let us handle this kingdom. Ah. And, uh, sure, I shall set everyone up, and then, indeed, it is time.
Yes, I shall use that phylactery that I got. <sighs> and craft my own phylactery. Good. And while we are waiting, it is time that I got this absolutely wonderful thing. This ring of freedom of movement. Yes. And while we are at it, Yes, it is also time that one of you, yes, you, Magister, sorry, you, Treasurer, you make me not a potion. No, that is far too simple. No, I want this heroic invocation. Yes, I want it put on my hat, so that all may know how glorious I am. I don't care that much about movement in this case, but I, let's just cast a spell n times per day. Let's... Wait, why can I only use one item to cast one spell? I am disappointed. Oh well. Ah, then you, treasurer, you can upgrade. Yes, you will be upgrading my royal ring, royal signet. Come. You'll be upgrading this with casting spell n times per day. With Heroic Invocation. Cast your level... 20, yes. And casting it twice per day. Yes. I understand it may seem expensive, but to me, it is absolutely worthwhile. So, thank you. I'm glad that I hired you for free. Now, back to these... Yes, back to the merit... Back to these affairs of state. Yes, let's support the Counselor's endeavors.
Ah, uh, your grace, I... <clears throat> Keston has a troubled look on his face. I fear there's another matter that it requires your attention. There have been reports, many of them, from settlements across the Narrow Marshes. There are trolls in the forest, seemingly hordes of them. Rumors claim that they're more than the typical savage beasts. They also seem... They almost seem to show reason, tactics. They form groups, attack all at once, plunder the villages, and carry away the peasants. Even stranger, the kobolds have been spotted among the ranks when usually they'd be attacked on sight. Keston falls silent for a moment. I'm not certain any of this is reliable. Fear builds mo uh, mountains of, of molehills. Some of the rumors say even the trolls carried torches and burned down houses, seemingly unafraid of open flames. It's entirely possible the rest of these reports could be exaggerated as well. The common folk will hardly heed any simple exhortation. Someone will need to go to the Narl Marshes to investigate the matter. I was considering the matter when it hits me. What if you were to take this investigation yourself, Your Grace? Well, I shall handle this. I have some more trolls to slay with acid and not fire. Ah, thank you, Your Grace. Keston sighs with relief. <sighs> when you decide to go, please remember that trolls can only be killed with fire or acid. Well, these can only be killed with acid. Trolls who didn't fear fire? That sounded terrible and dangerous and terribly dangerous. If we couldn't rein them in, our young barony would be eaten up in a snap. Oh, well, let's continue to attend to these affairs of state, and then, once everything is set up, we shall head out. Troubling, yes, okay. Oh, Tenebus Dreams. Hey, it's like, hey, the TLC were, the, the DLC is available to you. Please go fix that. Or go visit it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I haven't been barren in, uh, barren an hour or baroness an hour, and already people are wanting my attention. And I do mean in real time, not uh, in game. It's been longer in game. I've been barren. Baroness, that is. It's time to check the vendors and then take a victory nap. Look at all this stuff! Hallelujah! You must really like me. Quicken rods, though. Still, scrolls of time stuff. I'm pleased. Um. 
them all. It's time to act. Huh, storyteller is here. I will give him these miscellaneous things so that he will pay me. Because he likes these things, and apparently he's blind and rich. Yes, look at all this stuff. I wish I could just get all this stuff in one click instead of having to click once per thing so many times. But at least I can fast click and have it work this time. The man standing before you resembles an elf, but a very old one. His face is wrinkled, and his beard is as white as mountain snow. The man seems to be completely blind. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay... Okay, story, story, story. <sighs> wow, we got like 15 to 20k there. He is an antiques collector and storyteller. Alright, well, thank you for taking that junk off of me and paying me. That's why I kept it. to have more stuff so that we can sell it. In due time.
Ooh, a fireball wand. Hmm. And a bag of holding, even though we can just make some. Build points. Hmm. Ah, a cloak of shadows. I heard one would be here. Out of character, this reminds me a bit of Iron Forge from World of Warcraft, or Undercity. So much stuff just thrown at the player in such a short amount of time. <sighs> death War is not actually death immunity like it is in 3.5 and possibly earlier editions. Or, you know, you can just respec. Take a nap. That's what I thought. What has changed since we went to bed? Take a nap and handle this.
I'm there. All right, the advisors are set up for the moment. So, dear viewership, so, dear viewership, this concludes this video for the moment. Thank you, everyone. Good night. God bless.